Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ian. So this is the concluding part of the Bristol Bulldog. Um, it's been an interesting build, one way or another, um, and certainly not without issues. Um, I was getting on really well with the rigging, uh, and then this happened. Um, obviously, I hadn't uh, glued the uh, wing struts in uh, quite well enough, and although there was very little tension on the rigging, um, cumulative stress, I guess, um, and the whole thing just collapsed. And fortunately, the rest of the plane didn't come apart. Um, but it was an interesting experience, uh, and one I don't particularly want to uh, repeat. But I was able to recover from it, so good experience as far as that's concerned. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been, uh, been a good build. Um, I've enjoyed it, and hopefully Brian will be very pleased with the results. Uh, it's quite a delicate model, um, but it's come out all right in the end. So on with the video. At long last, the model is complete. A um, few trials and tribulations through this one. Uh, but here it is. Um, as you can see, I've managed to get the uh, the rigging on and uh, at the ends there as well uh, first time I've done rigging and uh, it came out reasonably well I think um, I also managed to lose uh, one of these um, the carpet monster ate it and the, I just couldn't find it and I, <laughs> I made a new one um, out of stretch sprue and then I lost that um, so I made another one out of stretch sprue and I managed to get this one. So uh, it's, it's now got the two on and they look okay. Um, they, they do, they look, uh, they look absolutely fine. I've given it a light weathering. I'm still not sure whether I'm completely happy with it yet, but it's done with oil. So I can clean that off any time I want. Um, and it's gone on okay. Um, I'm quite pleased with the propeller um, that was done um, with some light tan. And then some oil brusher just to uh, darken it down. Um, and, and so there we are. Um, that's the, the Bulldog. It doesn't look much, does it? Um, quite interestingly, after all my struggles, I noticed uh, this little bit with amusement um, just in the, uh, in the instructions uh, just here. Uh, where it says, not appropriate for children under 36 months. Um, <laughs> Uh, so uh, I, I should give it to the average three-year-old and, and see uh, how they do. In fairness, it says eight plus on the box, but uh, but there you are. It just amused me at the time. Um, so let, let's see just what I used um, to actually complete the model. Um, I used Mr. Surfacer um, Grey, uh, 1500 Grey, to, uh, to undercoat the whole model. Um, and I've, I haven't really used that much in the way um, of paint. Um, I used titanium silver. Uh, I tried using the Humbra one, it was rubbish. Um, so I went with the titanium silver from Tamiya. Um, olive green, which is the top section um, of the fuselage. Uh, wooden deck tan, uh, which I used uh, for the propeller. Um, Tamir X1 Black, uh, which I use for the undercarriage and the wing struts. Um, dark Flesh, uh, which I used on the uh, on the pilot. And uh, Antique Bronze, um, Umbral Antique Bronze, which is fine uh, as a brush on. Uh, just to help the, uh, the Tamir paints brush uh, where I needed to, I've been using this model as well, the Acrylic Doctor, and it's very good. Um, it just helps the Tamiya paint flow a little better on the brush. Um, my new best friend, Flexi 5CA Black Thin, uh, which is an absolutely amazing product. Love it to pieces. That's what I did all my rigging with. It came out really well. And I've been using um, some of the oil brushes um, from, uh, from Ammo, and these are great. Uh, I really like these. Um, and again, I've just been thinning these slightly. Um, just to uh, help them along um, and uh, and they've been absolutely fine um, the uh, the engine oil one 
Um, unfortunately, I'm not quite sure what happened with that brush. Uh, that's how it came. Uh, the brush is absolutely solid, so not sure what's going on there, but I was able just to pour a little bit into uh, the palette and work it that way. Um, for the rigging, I used um, the Infini uh, medium rigging uh, 0.135. Now, this is supposed to be for 132nd scale, um, but actually um, it works perfectly well uh, there. I think you, you'll I think you'll see, I think that's pretty much to scale. Um, it looks pretty okay. Uh, it could have even done with being slightly thicker, I think, but um, that's fine. It's uh, It's gone on okay. Um, so there we are. That's the uh, Bristol Bulldog complete. Um, and we'll move on now to, uh, to the next project. The Bristol Bulldog complete then. Um, it's not been without its issues, as you've seen, uh, but I'm quite pleased with the finished model, um, model number four. Um, so, you know, I'm not exactly an experienced modeler. Um, I'm not sure I'll be rushing, um, as I said, to uh, do another 172nd scale pipe plane. Um, but it was a good experience and I'm going to try and build a few slightly larger things for a, for a while. Um, and see how we go. Uh, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, thanks for joining, and I hope uh, that you'll enjoy the channel as it moves forward. Uh, please do leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. It really helps the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do consider doing so. Until the next time, thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.